Hello, and welcome to very hot Nottingham, New Hampshire. My name is Kirsten Davidson, and I am the owner of Zopi Designs. Um, I create my own jewelry using polymer clay, beach vines. Um, I also do some hand knits, that kind of thing. All right, I am going to be going over a second technique for making polymer clay beads. Um, this one requires a lot less skill. Um, it's a little bit easier, but it can still have some really fun results. Um, and it also does not require any knives. Um, the only thing you'll need for this is your toothpick to poke some holes. So, um, what we're gonna be doing is marbling the clay together. So I am right now, I am conditioning my purple just a little bit more. Got some stuff on that knife. Um, so what we're gonna do with the mar with marbling is we're mixing them together um, to kind of create some different swirls and looks as the clay comes together. So what I'm gonna do now, but my plate my clay is pretty conditioned. I'm going to roll out purple and my white separately. They tend to be the same length. Just uh, put them together and twist. and do some more twisting and I'm gonna start just blending them together a little bit you don't want to blend too much um because then you'll lose lose the distinct colors that you're using like this is turning very white right now I can see my purple coming back through. All right. So I'm pretty happy with the way that marbling looks now. So I'm going to take a piece off and roll it together. And if you want these to be more of a uniform size, the easiest way to do that is to roll your clay once it's all nice and marbleized like this. Um, roll it out like this and then just pull off the same amount. Roll it between your fingers to get a nice round shape or you can do a flatter shape square shape so really whatever whatever you can think of you can definitely make these beads into um, once you have all of your shapes you're gonna oh, your hole in one side kind of twist it through Come around to the other side to push that back in and voila you have a, for your first bead so one thing to know is when you do make the round spherical beads like this they will have a tendency to roll around um, especially when they are baking so one little trick you can use if you have extra toothpicks you're gonna just Thread them on, and you can actually put them all in the oven on the toothpick. Um, it prevents them from rolling around as much, and you can also spread them out so they won't um, be right next to each other as they bake. So um, you're also going to bake these on a tray for about 
15 to 30 minutes again, um, and your oven heat temperature will be specified depending on the type of clay that you use. Most go from 250 degrees to 275. So for my square, I'm going to poke it in. So, like I said earlier, one of the best ways to prevent your beads from rolling around is to thread them right onto your toothpick, which should be okay to go into the oven. Uh, the key is, is that you're not putting it in for a very high temperature and not for a super extended period of time. And once these are baked, take them right out of the oven um, once they've cooled down and you can get them strung right on your string um, for your bracelet.